welcome to the department of microbiology shere kashmir institute of medical sciences sowra in this video we are going to demonstrate the use of personal protective equipment or the ppes for healthcare providers here we will demonstrate the step wise donning and doffing of ppe during sample collection or while attending a highly infectious patient in the isolation ward before donning your ppes change into the surgical scrubs and shoes Ensure that you have a checklist of necessary requirements for PPEs and arrange them as shown in the video. No personal items like cell phones, pens, jewelry or watches should be brought while sample collection or in the patient's room. It is very necessary to perform the seven steps of hand hygiene before donning your PPE. How to perform hand hygiene? Rub a sufficient amount of hand sanitizer between your palms, finger webs, upper side of your hands, thumbs, between the palms and wrists. A non-biased observer should ensure that the checklist is followed. Sit down and wear appropriate disposable shoe covers or boots as provided in your PPE kit. Where a pair of non-powdered gloves appropriately. Now remove the PPE gown from your kit. Unzip the PPE. The PPE can be donned by pulling the PPE towards your neck and cover your body as shown in the video. Pull the zip of your PPE and close the flaps of PPE behind your neck. Additional assistance can be taken to ensure that your PPE is right in place. Next, wear your N95 mask rightly by placing it on your nose and adjusting the bands and fit test it. Presence of facial hair may interfere with the sealing of the respirator. Such individuals may tuck their beard into the mask. Wear your skull cap or surgical hood. Ensure that your skull cap is adjusted well by observing the right donning. Wear a pair of gloves 
to cover the cups of your PPEs. Finally, wear protective eyeglasses or goggles provided in your PPE kit. You are now ready for the sample collection or to provide necessary care in highly infectious zones. We are going to demonstrate how to take nasopharyngeal and throat swab from a patient suspected of any viral infection. Specimen collection should be performed by a healthcare personnel who have completed training and demonstrated competency. Always use a PPE before sample collection. Collect the necessary medical history. Label the sample collection tube. How to perform sample collection for a nasopharyngeal swab? Explain the procedure to the patient. Open the swab package. Tilt the patient's head back to 70 degrees. Insert the swab through nostril to the posterior nasopharynx. Rotate the swab few times to obtain the infected cells. Slowly remove the swab while rotating it. Transfer the nasal swab into viral transport media as provided. Next, we are going to demonstrate the steps for the throat swab collection. Open the swab package, tilt the head of the patient backwards. Request the patient to open his or her mouth. Visualize the throat and collect the sample from the tonsillar arch and posterior nasopharynx without touching the sides of the mouth. Take out the swab and transfer into the appropriate viral transport media. Store the specimen at 2 to 8 degrees centigrade and ship to appropriate reference lab on an ice pack. Label each specimen container with the patient ID number, specimen type, date of the sample was collected on the outer shipment container. If the samples are unable to be shipped within 72 hours of collection, they should be stored at minus 80 degrees centigrade and on dry ice. Next, we are now demonstrating the necessary steps of doffing a PPE. Before doffing your PPE, ensure that your PPE is discarded in a proper color-coded bag recommended as per the guidelines of hospital waste management. To begin with the doffing of your PPE, remove your disposable boots and the shoe covers.
perform the hand hygiene remove outer gloves ensuring not to tear the inner layer of gloves do not snap the gloves which could cause spray pinch one glove and lift around the wrist and roll it in a ball similarly repeat it on the other hand covering the previous gloves perform hand hygiene remove your eye gear or protective glasses first and discard in the color coded bin Remove your skull cap or surgical hood by carefully unknotting the bands and discard appropriately. Perform hand hygiene. Now open the flaps of your PPE at the back of your neck and unzip the PPE. The PPE now can be easily rolled down, beginning from your shoulders. Once you reach your wrists, the PPE should be rolled over as shown in the video. Discard the PPE and gloves appropriately in the color-coded bin. Perform hand hygiene. Wear a fresh pair of gloves before removing N95 respirator. Remove your N95 respirator. Discard gloves appropriately in the color-coded bin. Perform hand hygiene. Thank you.